Oh, yes. Once again, you are up front with Frank Rothstein on the City World Radio Network. We're broadcasting all over the damn place. We're here with you on, on our website. We are on Sky's Crescent Radio, which goes all over, like iHeart, Spreaker, and everywhere else we could think of, including the two tin cans we have strung together <laughs> between us and the next-door neighbor. Sitting with me, as always, is someone who's trying to fix her cell phone. It is Jade Zabrick. What happened? What happened to it? What do you got a comment? You got me? Hi. Do, do I look good? I look good. Okay. We have also retained from Chirp About It, Ian Bamberger and Hello, Gabe sir. Stoddard. How are you? Good. Good. Thanks. So you're hanging in probably because I keep on jumping into your show and I keep on always asking odd end questions. I love it. Okay. And the last topic you spoke about was, I guess, Ernie and Bert from Sesame Street yeah. have been outed. Is that what you said? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is it official? Yeah. I think they're openly gay now. They're gay? Yeah. How did anyone know? So wait, wait, wait. That Okay. I thought that was a joke in the last Well, oh, that's show. been discussed for a while. Is Ernie and Bert gay? Uh, There's no way they were written as homosexuals. They weren't written as anything. Not? They're pieces of... Co- what do you mean, why not? Yeah. They're pieces of oh, cotton on a oh. TV show. No one ever wrote them as anything. You I think, think they're... Write the, them as gay? To, when? I, like, I don't... Like... When? I mean, wh- when? When? When they originally came out? I'm said, watching them since no 1968. Way. You never assumed. that You just thought they were roommates. It's a show catered towards five-year-olds. Yeah. Five you can have homosexuals on a five-year-old show. You could, but no one ever discussed. No one ever. Yeah, at that time, I feel that's like a that new, was, that's a new. That's a new Twitter that's thing. A new thing, really? I think everything is huh. a new thing. Huh. I think it's a Twitter thing. Why isn't huh. Ernie and Bert gay? Why? Well, I don't care if they are or not. I'm just thinking, like in the in the '60s, was that? Why not get upset over what type of cookie Cookie Monster eats? What do you mean he doesn't eat Oreos? Oh, are people upset? I'm yeah. asking. Why not? Oh, yeah. Get upset over what? Cookies, right? Cookie Monster eats, right? Well, it's, it's always been chocolate a, chip. Yeah. It's just chocolate as in, chip. how do you know? What if what if he went to an Oreo? Would people be upset? What if he went to a raisin <laughs> cookie or <laughs> yeah, or yeah. a Vienna <laughs> finger? Would people be upset? People would be freaking out. These are the, the uh, what I'm trying to say is this is a relatively unimportant topic, <laughs> sure. except okay. to people on Twitter. Right. So. Right. Okay. I Any gotcha. thoughts? Yeah. Uh, well, with the cookie thing, people would freak the fuck out. Of course if they it would. Was not. Uh, Jade. Chocolate chip cookie. Jade. If Cookie Monster went to eating to see from whatever he eats to oatmeal raisin cookies, would you be upset? Is it important? Okay. Okay. Well, if they were, <laughs> he could eat every cookie. He he eat every, but if it was explicitly Oreo, that'd be product placement. No, actually, he eats a cookie that that's more color coordinated to what he chip. looks like. Yeah, yeah. He eats a ch- yeah that's yeah. what he does. But I was asking as as the other after the other last show ended because I we, I was listening. What happened was I was eavesdropping on the show prior to mine, and what I did do was a, as they're leaving and the mics are off and I'm just talking. Was I said this is as important as were the Oompa Loompas, Blue Meanies, and the Munchkins gay? Mm-hmm. Who are the blue minis? Yellow submarine. They're all male. They uh-huh. all look appear to be male. Every last one of them. Oh. But who cares? It doesn't matter. It's it's the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. cartoon in, in the in Yellow Submarine. Right. Oompa Loompas are from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Sure. You have an obnoxious kid. We couldn't wait to see her drown in a vat of chocolate. <laughs> but were the Oompa Loompas gay? Oh man, I never even I'd assume. thought Why? about it. Why? It's as it could be it asexual. As, they could be asexual. Now, now I want to make it a Twitter thing. That's what I want to do. And by the way, if anybody else has a thought on this, our phones are open. You can tell me that I'm right, wrong, ridiculous, or, or a brilliant motherfucker at 646 690 2976. 646 690 2976. But th- when I hear topics like this, yeah, like yeah. we discussed last time, uh-huh. we, you know, when, when we were talking about making, which character was it again uh, that had to be? Oh, James Charlie Bond. Brown. James Bond had to be. Oh, by the way, a Charlie Brown theme song is called Linus and Lucy. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. But um, we last time we were you hung in, we were talking about the Thanksgiving with Charlie Brown. Thanksgiving with, with Charlie Brown. But it was it was the thing about James Bond being black? Oh or yeah, gay. which I think is cool. And I said, "Well, cool. why not make him uh-huh. Chinese?" I said, yeah, but I came up with, and that's when everyone stopped for a second and looked at me when I when I finally ended up by saying, "Let's make Shaft white." 
Mm-hmm. And that was sort of people looking at me like I'm nuts. Ch- it's, Chad. Yeah, Chad. Yeah. Ch- <laughs> John Chad. He's a bad mother. I don't know what he is. But right. okay. he just he's hilarious. Chad. He should. But that's what it, that's pretty right, much so what we were talking about. But then again, I think all these topics that come up of such grave importance in mm-hmm. society mm-hmm. that where the two pieces of cotton with plastic eyes are gay. Why? Well, we know Felix and Oscar are not gay because when they're married, they were married, they're divorces, they yeah, have yeah. girlfriends. But they're living together, they could be bi. Uh, ah, sure, let's just sure. dig a little deeper in the well, gang. What, Jade? You're laughing. What? So anyway, why is it? Why, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think it bothers me because we're comparing Oompa Loompas and, and the the blue whatever. But also, like Bert and Ernie, like even though they are puppets, they do live in a situation that people can relate to, like two people living together, you know, going through life together, living in like isn't it an apartment? They live like, behind an, a counter, I guess, in the kitchen because you never saw the, the whole house. Right. One comes bouncing in, the other one's one. There could have been two guys. Ha- there could have been. Huh? Could have been. Did they have beds? I don't remember. We assume. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I haven't watched this in like 44 years. I really don't know. It's really good. (laughs) (laughs) Watch it every day. I do watch Menomina sing every now and then. Menomina. And my favorite was always The Count, but... The Count is gay. How do you know? How do you know? Have you heard him count? Have you heard him count? Two, (laughs) Two, three. three. (laughs) But four. You might as well say Dracula was gay. Oh, the first. You never saw him with his <laughs> wives, and he has three of them. Isn't, so, that, isn't that how gay people doesn't started? That mean he started from, biting everyone. Doesn't that mean Dracula's from the Middle East? He has a million of wives. And he's, no, he's from Transylvania, he and he uh, he bit people, and, he and looks, they started turning gay. And he looks gay. good in a, in, a, in a tux. He looks good in a cape. Yeah. But now why? Okay, now <laughs> why? Every now and then, well, you guys are always hanging with me, but every now and again, I bring up this topic about how parents, as good as well intended as loving as good of people as they are they can come right out of a tv show type of mom and dad situation they will fuck up their kids and how do i know this nbc news and this actually this came out from july i saw the story i never really spoke about it but okay from nbc news this is dated july 19th boy or girl parents raising babies let kids decide and what hey. this is, yeah, what this is, and here it is. You can look at the at the story if you want, or better yet, we're going to be very careful and turn my computer around because it's already being held together by duct tape. Oh. And what this is is parents are now not using the the phrases he, she, mm-hmm. uh, her, him, things like that. So now, because children should decide. And I believe everybody should decide how they want to live when they're capable of deciding. Right. Or like speaking? Deciding. They okay. can talk. They can yell mom, dad, cookie, okay. milk. Well, they can do whatever they want. Okay. They, they can cry and say, I want it. And then you'd want to slap them both in the head. Yeah. But <laughs> this is really a, one of those things. Let me just read, the fir- as usual, the first few paragraphs. Three-year-old twins, Zyler and Caden Sharp, scurried <laughs> around. Yeah, I didn't name them either. They're screwed by those names also. Yeah. Scurried around the boys' and girls' clothing racks of a narrow consignment store filled with toys. Zyler wearing rainbow leggings okay scrutinized a pair of hot pink and purple sneakers caden in a t-rex shirt fixated on musical cube that flashed colorful lights at a glance the only you know, the only discernible difference between these fraternal twins is their hair xyler is brown caden is blonde okay now a zabi what is it a zabi, i'm sorry i'm listening to reading this name a thabi that's T H E Y B Y B I E S or B Y a Thaby. I think different things to different people. Nate Sharp told told NBC News. For us it means raising our kids with gender neutral pronouns. So they, them, their rather than assigning he, she, him, her from birth based on their anatomy. I hate to burst any bubbles, but really at birth there are only two anatomies. You cannot fake it. And you cannot sw- I mean no. Unless you're doing operating on a newborn, that's it. Mm. Yeah. So, would any you, thoughts here? If you could uh, choose your child, like, say, if... What was that? It's good? Okay. Good? Yeah, it's good. Okay, we had a mic glitch. Sorry. If you could, like, say, the genetic uh, engineering thing goes forward and you have the ability to choose your child's sex, 
so you could choose her a boy or a girl. Would you, if you had the money? No, say, no, you wouldn't. No, no. Because you? if you go back, Ian, if you no, go back, it freaks me out. If you go back far yeah. enough. People want them to be perfect anyway. They should all be six foot and blonde with right. blue eyes. Right. We don't need that. No, I agree. We don't need that. No. no. But what oh about God, like... And then who starts picking what perfect is? Way back when, right. when my grandparents were kids in like the 1920s, if you were left-handed, they would beat you until you until became you right-handed. Right. Exactly, yeah. Wow. But what if it was a choice of like... Is, so... is there a medical reason why I have to choose? Yeah, so that's what my next question. What if... It, they were predisposed to a, you know, a genetic disease, and this was your way to kind of take out that chance. So you have a genetic disease in mind that affects one gender and not the other? No, no, no. I, I, this is a separate question, I guess. If you want to stay, this is off topic, I guess. If there's something where the baby's not going to survive or live with a horrible pain and illness, yeah. the odds are a, 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 a physician will recommend terminating the pregnancy. Right. But as far as optional goes, and these kids are born, these kids yeah. are born. They're obviously boys. They look pretty healthy. Yeah. Yeah, they are fraternal. They look nothing alike. Yeah. But they are boys. <laughs> Where I see this going is with like a lot of things. There was an article in the papers uh, last week about a couple in Texas that allowed their kid who identifies as gay to oh, go right. to school. And I, I talked about this a few months ago. Nail, fake nails, a dress. The kid's about seven or eight. Right. Oh, he's seven. And now again, Fuck. people deciding on their life, knock yourselves out. Everyone should decide on their life. Sending a seven-year-old kid to school and kids are tough enough in mm -hmm. general, put a pimple on your face, it's over. Yeah. This kid's life can be tortured. Let's do it, these two kids. Now they've, they, they've, all they've ever heard is him, you, it, whatever. And now, now they're going out into the world and they're going to school. And they don't know what the boys' and girls' bathroom looks like. They don't understand which one to go in. When, when some kid says, you're a girl, you're a mean boy, they're going to say, what? Because they don't know what – they're not going to be raised to identify in either direction. Yeah. I, I am worried about my generation becoming parents. Like I think that we're It started we're a generation ago, I assure you. We're unfit. Did you see the thing about uh, there was a gender reveal party that someone had in Arizona? And their idea was to like have a cake explode in a color, blue or pink. And that was going to be how they would re reveal to their friends what sex the baby was going to okay. be. Something with the pyrotechnics went wrong. Oh, it, that's created a great wildfire. It, stu it burned about 100 acres somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. in well, Arizona. For, well, if parents want to know what the sex of a baby is going to be anyway, I mean, if they want to know how to decorate the room or they want yeah. that's fine. That's great. Right. Having a party to tell people what you're going to have then having a party to collect gifts right. to tell people, you know, because you now have a baby, I find it a little bit cheesy, but yeah. that's another story. So anyway, we're going back to this. What do you think about babies? They they like I haven't doll. heard of it until today. I don't want to sound like uh, sheltered, to... but <laughs> babies, you know. Jade, <laughs> what do you think? You, you, you're giving us a look here. What do you think? Have you heard about it, Jade? Oh, I've never heard of babies, but okay. I've heard of people using the word they. I'm like, did you okay. just become two people? Like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're right. now plural? Who, yeah, who? I, now are you multiple Are you a schizo? <laughs> when, you walk right. into a, when you walk into a twin-filled house and you look at the mother and you say, what's wrong? Them. <laughs> them. <laughs> well, that's what it really comes down to. I, yeah. I don't get this. I really don't get this. Neither do I. What people, these kids are screwed. You know, maybe in, in the United States, definitely. Because I, I, I've seen articles in certain Scandinavian countries, this is more open. But in the U.S., like in the Midwest, you it's do this open, to a child, they'll it's be slaughtered. It's open as a topic to people who can comprehend the subject. Yeah, yeah. Kids are kids. Kids no are kids. No matter where they are, no matter what language they're in, yep. a seven-year-old beats up another seven-year-old, a seven-year-old boy beats up another kid in a dress, mm -hmm. a boy in a dress, and if you look at what is apparently a young boy, and he says, I'm a girl, th that's, why not just get him after school? That's a, that's that's a deep one, because why is that person picking on someone anyway? What's the issue with that dude who's, like, going out of the way to beat another kid up? Like, if you're seven years old and already you're, like, enacting violent action on another seven-year-old, you're fucked up, too. Yeah, it may be. <laughs> like, Mom, you got shit to do it. Uh, listen, all I know is, is that... No, I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I I am not phobic of the kids. I am phobic of the parents. I agree. I'm afraid I agree. Totally. of the crap totally. out of the parents. Totally. Pat, you listening to this? Pat Sainville standing there with a the camera. Did you hear this subject? Uh, no, I just because I'm not whispering. 
<laughs> Our phones are open, 646-690-2976. Do you have a Thabie of your own you want to tell us about? Please call in. I want to laugh at you, too, because this is the dumbest thing I can imagine. What do people think about? And what we're going to do is we're going to play a song. Because I did a little idea with a song. I have a little theme tonight for the music. I only picked four songs. Every now and then, Jade, I think we're going to do song number three first. Every, and only because I know you covered this song. Every now and again, you get a song, well, quite often, that's been covered by somebody else. And you're a musician. You ever notice that when a song gets covered, often it's changed a little bit, so maybe the message changes, the sound of it, everything's yeah. just different about the song. Mm -hmm. It went from being a miserable song to a happy song. to a mi Okay, so I, I picked a few from Postmodern Jukebox, one of my favorite acts. Cool. And that, are you familiar with them? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so I picked the song that sure. Jade covered at one point. We're going to play the original I'm going to come back, and then we're going to play the cover, okay? So I picked from Jimmy Eat World, In the Middle, and we'll be back. Okay, that was the version done in the original version by Jimmy Eat World. Now we're going to go to postmodern jukebox where they're doing it in a Bobby Darinish type of style. Jade. Hey, don't write yourself off yet. It's only in your head you feel left out. Look down on Just try your best Try everything you can It doesn't matter what they tell themselves When you're away It just takes some time Little girl, you're in the middle of the ride Everything, everything will be just fine Everything, everything will be all right, all right It just takes some time, 
little girl, you're in the middle of the ride. Everything, everything will be just fine. Everything, everything will be all right. Hey, you know they're all the same. You know you do it better on your own. So don't buy it. Gotta live right now. Just be yourself. It doesn't matter if that's good enough. Someone else. It just takes some time, little girl. You're in the middle of the ride. Everything, everything will be just fine. Everything, everything will be all right, all right. It just takes some time, little girl. You're in the middle of the ride. Everything, everything will be just fine. Everything, everything will be all right, all right, ooh, all right. Yourself off, yeah. It's only in your head you feel left out or looked down on. Just do your best, do everything you can. Don't worry about their bitter hearts. I'm gonna say. Everything, everything will be all right. Oh, everything is gonna be all right. And that's why I love certain covers. I love postmodern jukebox. It is the same. The, the words are there. It's the same song, but he's definitely the original version. We all took it like he's singing to an eight-year-old, an eighteen-year-old. Excuse me. This guy was pretty much, I thought, singing to to adults because I don't know that a kid could last through that type of type of song. But I loved it, and that's why I played it. I think we're going to do another quick song. Which one did you pull up? You haven't. How about we do number two? And even Ozzy Osbourne got covered at, at some point, so we're going to play again. Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train, and then we're going to come back to me, and then we're going to go back to Postmodern Jukebox. So, Jade, if you please.
Now, once once again, we're going to go switching it over to the cover. This was done by Postmodern Jukebox with Jenny Lena covering it, and they're doing it in a Motown style thing. And again, it has a whole different sound because they changed the genre of music on it. And again, I'm a big fan. I'm going to go see them soon. Okay, Jade, Postmodern Jukebox, please. That was Crazy Train. That was 
Jenny Lena out of uh, doing it in the Motown style with Postmodern Jukebox. I like the way the band changes things up. Not always does, do songs get that kind of changed. But, and I'm, I'm going to play an example of that. Sometimes people cover songs true to form. A lot of times they cover it true to form. And they just change a couple of words based on need. and Maybe a note here or there. Tweak things based on how they play their instrument, whatever. So I'm going to go back to John Denver. Because we all know his classic, Take Me Home, Country Roads. And we're going to play that. And then I'm going to come back and tell you about the uh, cover. Jay, do you have John Denver? There you go. Take me home, country roads. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. John Denver, who wrote that great song oh, in the 1970s somewhere. I don't even remember what year. I have to look it up. But it's a great song. And many people have, have, have covered it and you know made it their own. But I always go back to a reggae act who did this song. You hear the reggae beat. It's not overly changed. It's just a few words. But when I hear this song, every now and then we all hear a song playing in our head. We all sing a song to ourselves. To ourselves when i do that with this song i hear it in the reggae version and this is toots and the metals with take me home country roads
one more set of songs before I read the last story tonight because sometimes the stupidest like the best save the best for last I'm saving the stupidest for last anyway right now we're going to pull up a song one of the Justin Bieber yeah well he did a song a while ago called love yourself and it sounds like another teen whiny story about breaking up with his girlfriend like everyone else and that's what it sounds like a misery so we're going to play justin bieber first and then we're going to come back and believe it or not postmodern jukebox second but first it's the bieber in all the clubs you get in using my name you think you broke my heart oh girl for goodness sake you think i'm crying on my own well i ain't and i didn't want to write a song because i didn't want anyone thinking i still care or don't but you still hit my phone up and baby i'll be moving on and i think it should be something i don't want to hold back maybe you should know that my mama don't like you and she likes everyone and I never like to admit that I was wrong And I've been so caught up in my job Didn't see what's going on But now I know I'm at a sleeping on my own Cause if you like the way you look that much Oh baby, you should go and love yourself And if you think that I'm still holding on to something You should go and love yourself but When you told me that you hated my friends The only problem was with you and not them And every time you told me my opinion was wrong And try to make me forget where I came from 
And I didn't want to write a song Cause I didn't want anyone thinking I still care or don't But you still hit my phone up And baby, I'll be moving on And I think it should be something I don't want to hold back Maybe you should know that My mama don't like you And she likes everyone And I never like to admit that I was wrong And I've been so caught up in my job Didn't see what's going on But now I know I'm better sleeping on my own Cause if you like the way you look that much Oh baby, you should go and love yourself And if you think that I'm still holding on to something You should go and love yourself For all the times that you made me feel small I fell in love, now I feel nothing at all I never felt so low when I was vulnerable Was I a fool to let you break down my walls? Cause if you like the way you look that much Oh baby, you should go and love yourself And if you think that I'm still holding on to something You should go and love yourself Cause if you like the way you look that much Oh baby, you should go and love yourself And if you think that I'm still holding on to something You should go and love yourself And that was Justin Bieber singing his hit Love Yourself But it sounds so... <sighs> Let us now go to Postmodern Jukebox and to let someone who wants you to get away from them how happy they sound when you're gone. This is Sarah Namitz in the, like a style of like a 1929, 30s type of thing. This is Love Yourself. All the times that you rain on my parade and all the clubs you get in using my name Oh, you think you broke my heart, oh boy, for goodness sake You think I'm crying on my own, well I ain't And I didn't want to write songs, I didn't want anyone thinking I still care, I don't But you still hit my phone up And baby, I've been moving on And I think you should be something that I don't want to hold back You and not with them And when you told me That my opinion was wrong And you tried to make me forget Where I came from And I didn't want to write a song I didn't want anyone thinking I still care, I know But you still hit my phone up And baby, I've been moving on And I think that you should be something I don't want to hold back Baby, you should know Thank you. 
And I never felt so low when I was vulnerable Was I a fool to let you break down my Sarah Namitz with Postmodern Jukebox and that's what I mean by changing genres and to me giving it a whole new message. She sounds like you're gone. Good luck to you. Uh Hunt yourself. I like it. Anyway, two quick stories before I go and the first one, the only way I could think of describing this is made it my top of the world and the reason is because Egyptian authorities are investigating a photo posted by a Danish photographer Andreas Vid, which shows him and the model going at it, screwing each other on top of the Great Pyramid of Giza. This is a good shot. Let me they, they have, this is some view they got. And yeah, they are on top of the world. There, she, yeah, he, oh, there you go. They're at it. And I don't think they realize that there's a, a camera watching them. But they did it. And they're on top of the world or of a pyramid in Egypt. And this is a good shot. And good luck to them. Hopefully no charges are pressed because, hey, if you can do it in a Mile High Club, you can do it on top of a pyramid. Okay. Now, before I go, here's the dumbest story I can imagine. Principal bans candy cane saying the J shape stands for Jesus. And this is an elementary school principal in Nebraska was placed on leave after telling teachers to avoid decorating their classrooms with Christmas themed ornaments so as not to offend those who do not celebrate the holiday. It's an elementary school, but we'll, we'll leave it at that. The principal of Manchester Elementary School, identified by Fox affiliate KPTM as Jennifer Sinclair sent out a a memo earlier this week with guidelines as to what is considered appropriate for classroom decorations and assignments. All right. You can... um, Generic themes like like, uh, sledding, scarves, frozen characters, Olaf, that's acceptable. Decorations that included Santa, Christmas trees, reindeer, green and red items... And even candy canes, however, were not acceptable for elementary school. Green and red. Okay. And this is what, and his, what, what she's saying, historically, the J shape stands for Jesus. It's a candy cane. If you hold it right side up, it looks like its name, a cane. But what do I know about anything? It's a candy cane. Like I say, let's screw kids over early in life to really... Ruin them. Anyway, fortunately, the school district has placed the principal on leave, and she's done for a while. And that's that story. I have one more show before the year is up because Christmas and New Year's fall on Tuesdays, and I won't be here for that. I'll be rusty by the time I get back, and it's 10.55, so I'm about out of here. I'll speak to everybody next week. Maybe I'll kidnap some new guests. I thank everybody from Chirp about it for hanging in. They had to leave early, but okay. Jade, thank you again. You look cute in your Santa hat, and we'll see what kind of new... Next week, that's right. Next week, I have all kinds of crazy Christmas music. Until then, have a good night. Yo, what's going on? Y'all listening?